Afternoon Diads, Maddie G here again. Celtics Suns tonight from Phoenix. Celtics are on a back to back. They beat the Kings last night by 11. Jalen Brown looked really good in his return, 19 points, only missed two shots from the field. Al Horford had a good game, led the way with eight assists. And Greg Monroe only played 20 minutes, but he led the team with nine rebounds. And Terry Rogier went off, had a career high, 36 points. Celtics play Phoenix tonight. Going to be pretty much the same guys. I expect Marcus Morris will be out again. And they might actually end up sitting somebody else, whether it's Terry Rogier or uh, they can't sit Rogier, but they, you might see somebody else take the night off, whether it's Monroe or Horford. I still think they're gonna they're gonna up Monroe's minutes. You know, Jalen Brown might be the guy that sits tonight. They might not want to push him back so quick, but somebody should probably will get rest tonight. And they're doing it the right way. They're only three and a half games behind Toronto, but all intents and purposes, they're gonna be the two seed. Toronto will be the one. And um, the way the Warriors look right now, with all four guys being hurt, Green, Durant, Thompson, and Curry, a lot of people think that they might stub their toe. Um, in the first round, I think they can win without Curry, but if Curry is seriously hurt, and he's going to be playing hurt, and Durant's hurt and going to be playing hurt, I, that makes them a lot weaker than a lot of people think. You know, Draymond Green and Klay Thompson are all-stars, but taking those two big, big guns off their team, I don't see them beating the Rockets. And tell you the truth, I don't know if they could beat Portland or San Antonio without those two guys in a four out of seven game series. You can add Oklahoma City and possibly New Orleans to that list um, just because of the way that teams match up. But, you know, they play the Suns tonight. Guys like Alex Lynn, you got to look at Josh Jackson, the guy that supposedly burned Danny Ainge at the draft, even though Danny Ainge didn't even want Josh Jackson from the jump. Um, he made a big stink at the draft saying, I don't want to ever play for Boston. But pretty funny that we play him tonight. Uh, the Suns are one of the worst teams in the NBA, so the Celtics should win. But it's a back-to-back. -back. No rush. No need to play crazy. Let Semi, Ojale, and Gershon Yabuselli play a lot of minutes. Let them get their feet wet. I'd like to see Nader, and I'd like to see Jabari Bird get some minutes tonight, too. And Shane Lock and you know, the, the backups should play. So I'll check in with you after the game, but Celtics-Suns tonight. Go Celtics. Thanks.